Hi there, I'm CyMaxD, call me Cy or Max, whichever you prefer, and in today's episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, there's one final side quest I want to complete before we head off, before we begin our trek through Valak Mountain and progress the story a little more. A little more. Begin with... Let's speak to Lupa, because after Hello. helping her out with her grandpa Satata and all that stuff, there's some really ancient ruins in Makna. I want to do some research there, but the door will not open. Worrying. I was hoping you would say that. Have friends ever, be ever been to ruins? That's where I want to do some surveying. Riddiki did see really old house out there. What's Looper going to do in old haunted house? Fighting ghosts to death? <laughs> Didn't I just say I want to do survey there? I'm fond of yet to learn about those ruins and... Oh, stop! Lupa talk too much. Time to decide. Well, technically this is a bit of a sequence break because... Yeah, we haven't actually seen those ruins yet. We will during this quest chain, don't worry about it. And... I think get one of those free ancient documents. Regardless. Eh, it's not worth it, but the end reward at the end of this chain is great and I'm abundant. I need free ancient documents in order to open door. And all likely somewhere in Machna Forest. Be your best to find them, friends. Down on us, we'll get it done. I probably should have mentioned that I'm gonna keep Ricky in this one because I know he comments on every single one of these quests. Unless said quest doesn't actually have a unique comment. Which one? Th Which there's one, but. Anyways. Alright, I think I remember now. I'll put the video up on on screen if I manage to find the recording or episode it was in, but memory serves. One of the three documents is in this little alcove here between bridges two and three. Well, give or take the whole vertical thing of being on the river the shore and not up up not up here on the tops of this Gorge? Yes? But before you hop down and grab that ancient document, I recommend you grab this one here on the other side of the bridges two and three. Uh-oh. Oops. And as for the final document, head on over to the pod landing site and... just realized I never actually showed this. If you speak to the captain again, how may I help you? Valak Mountain is up ahead, or would you like to fly back to RFC? Additionally, if you speak to him again while at RFC, you'll get sent over here without that cutscene from a few episodes ago. I'm going the wrong way. Because the last ancient document takes us into semi unexplored territory. Those are some big Orlugas, all right. Oh, look, another one. Ah, good thing I'm one level over. Oh, no, wait, I'm one level over. But... Blue tags are the ones that don't attack. Whoops! Oh, 
のはみんなのおかげだよみんなよくやったもんええDeciphering this line and other documents. Should be able to read this. Can decipher its rise away. Come back to me shortly. Oh, let's just start. Wait a minute. Hold on a moment, please. Yeah, no, I was mistaken. There isn't any post quest affinity to be gained with the party members. Hold on, I wanted Ricky in this. Speak with Looper again to begin, as you imagine, the mystery of Mark and the Ruins Part 2. I know how to open the door to the Mark and the Ruins. I'm here to listen. Ancient documents say to recite the prayer in front of the ruins. Wow, Looper able to read such tattered book? Well done! Ricky not able to read any of those curly squiggles. He's not curly squiggles, these important ancient writing! He's not moved by the fact that writing existed in ancient times? Your friends want to try to delve deeper into the history of the ruins? And here we go, Mr. Of the Mark the Ruins Part 2. Yeah, I'm just repeating this episode title that to add north. He knew you would get us all excited at mention of mystery, but at the mention of. Your friends know the location of the ruins in Markna. There are a tablet at the entrance to the ruins. Cite the prayer there. When the door opens, go inside and look around for me. Count on us, we'll get it done. Now, as you figured out just a few minutes ago, head back to the Valak Pass and take this little pathway down here. And here we are in front of the ruins that he was mentioning before. King Agni's tomb. Yeah, we still haven't found every single location in Markna Forest yet. Let's open the seal on the tablet thing. Oh, we head in. Let's double check skills. Okay, that's great. Definitely need this one from Don Ban. This time I can forget it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Getting both over the overwhelming skill on Don Ban and the Stealth Warrior on Shulk. I'll just say this was the perfect timing to get that pair of skills. And Mining Mastery, early Tarn's also not bad. And... Oh boy. These Igna corpses look fresh. Maybe these Mark Knight souls have something to do with that? After clearing half of all those Antols and Vangs? Yeah. I almost feel kind of sorry for this slaughtered clan of Ignas. Well. Mad King's in our way, so 
Let's take out Brutal Gravar, which I'll then show at a later date. I'm gonna give you guys some sort of modicum of a challenge. Okay, so I thought I'd just redo the whole thing to show you instead of being smart and actually doing the alternative beforehand. Which also taught me a few things, like Vulcan Dumban reaching the Purple White Cloud Affinity. So Ricky unlocking actually the skill to try and link on everyone else. Uh, let's see here. And it only costs four Affinity Coins too. That is pretty much a steal. It's a little tricky because I don't have many of these, but technically can sneak around Brutal Gravar if you have enough Earth Cloak gems equipped. Uh, zit. And? Wait, is Earthquake 20% all you need? Oh my goodness. You actually can? Oh, that's great! It doesn't look like it can open the giant's coffin. But I can feel a draft coming from a gap below the coffin. We should go back and tell Looper. Walk back, go see Looper about the matter, and... So friends found a huge coffin inside the ruins. It's indication that these ruins of the ancient giants... Friends felt a breeze underneath the coffin? Uh, something may lie beyond the coffin. Right, I'll have to come up with a way of finding out. Now we have evidence that ancient giants lived in Magna. It's wonderful. No post quest affinity reward from that, but that's okay. Eh, same deal with the lightning attack before. Speak to her again for... Right. Come up with a way to solve the next mystery. I'm here to listen. Fine warriors should have no problem moving the coffin. The coffin? The dead thing in it? Looper wants us to move it? Uh, what if Skeleton wants to jump out at Ricky? Ah yes! If friends find bones, then bring him here to me! It may help us to understand the biology of the giants. Bones! Looper wants us to bring bones! <laughs> oh, don't worry, Ricky, this is nothing compared to the Kezu Monster Hunter of Fame. Oh, that's convenient. If you're a bit, if you're running short on the Arqueous Andos oil, and you happen to have three star affinity tea with the Upper Bionis area, trade them with Gol 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 Goldo will offer them for a trade. As for the Algora sap, I need some Algora sap and Arqueous Andos oil. Friends can get these in Machna and RFC. I will then blend them together. Get on us, we'll get this done. Honestly, you Definitive Edition players are so lucky because of this little UI thing on overlay. In the original version, all you have to go for are the exclamation points on the mini-map and such. I kid you not, this took me over an hour on my very first playthrough of the game because I just could not for the life of me figure out where it was located. Sap cave in question is hidden behind this big fat Magna Brog that won't get out of the way. I'll get to it in the moment I see those I see those Ether crystals and I want them. Good thing I did go out of my way. One more rare for the achievement. Uh, how are you supposed to get that orb? That's mean. <laughs> what a good timing for the electric gut buster. Mm. 
And here we are in the sap cave. One, two, three. And we look at our map now. That is every single area, landmark and scener scenic vista, all found within Markna Forest. I'm not sure if you can actually hear the sound of my puppy dragging around a palm leaf while playing in the yard, but anyways. <laughs> now that we've got all the oil and sap that we need to make the lubricants, now I have all the materials to make lubricants oil. We must fix the we must mix the Algora sap and aqueous andos oil thoroughly. That will give us a smooth lubricants oil. If you guys can hear the sound of my dogs barking, don't worry, it's just that time of the day when most people and such pass by. There is a park nearby. If friends use this on the coffin, then it should move easily. I look forward to hearing what lies beyond the coffin. Might be kind, might be effectively useless, but it still, but I appreciate the cons consistency with elemental attack gems. Order than this, and with that, we automatically obtain the mystery of Machna Ruins Four. Let's go back to the. Uh, King Agni's tomb and use that lubricant's oil in the coffin. Regardless of whether or not you take down Brutal Gravar, got these two collectible orbs. Expect the coffin lubricant's oil and it will just slide like the ground's made of ice. Physics. <laughs> and finally. A nice bunch of collectible orbs. And the sole objective of our quest. Investigate. There's only a treasure chest in the center of a small room. Let's go and tell Looper. Or that. I strongly recommend you examine in the giant's treasure chest itself. Because not only do you get a an advanced art manual for Shulk's battle soul art, but a new Monado art. This one's a doozy. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, battle soul first, yeah. So yeah, if you wanted to, if you really likes using Battle Soul for whatever reason, you can take it all the way to level 10. And now, if we go into the arts menu, also for, yeah, I like the order it's in. The Monado Eater. So, it has a fan-shaped area of effect E for art, a fan-shaped area of effect E for art. That not only removes any buffs on the targeted enemies in range, but also inflicts the bleed debuff on them. This can come in handy for quite a few interesting situations. This is arguably my second favorite damaging Monado art right after Purge, so let's get this up to level... Alright, the bleed effect only lasts for 20 seconds. Still pretty good. In the pinch. And the kanji itself appears to be no longer in use and combines the characters for mouth and the general term for food. It can be pronounced as either ku or kurao. Which not only means to eat and drink, but also to receive a blow. But yeah, kind of fitting that the records from an ancient, long dead civilization would use a character that's also archaic in its modern use. 
know what I'm saying anymore. And all that's resolved. Hello. So friends found the small room under the coffin? A single treasure chest inside. It may have been a custom of the giants to build this secret room. Very intriguing results. Our less friends have the contents of the treasure chest. Looper has no interest in riches, and friends may find them useful. Well, considering that only one of our party members can even use them. Please take this piece of giant's treasure too. It's an old family heirloom. I finished studying it. Friends might find a use for it. I told Grampy Pond I would solve the riddle of King Agni's tomb. Now I have fulfilled that promise. And with that, eh, pass on the Barry Nasher. But we now have the Heart of the Giants, which makes two race hidden treasures of the Giants we've managed to find on this journey. Makes you wonder where the third might be hiding and hiding and what all three will do once gathered together. But until then, yeah, inherited wish, good. Unless I can think of a heart, heart that I can slap on the end of this video, we're gonna end things here. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we begin our trek through Valak Mountain. Till then, may you have a good day.